I'm so happy you're here. Uh, you just came back from a trip I want to ask you about. You went to Finland? I did. So, I did, went with friends, yeah. Yeah. Why, why did you, why Finland? Any connection? Um, so, okay, so my boyfriend, Joe Tippett, has an affinity for photographing the Northern Lights. So this was like the pilgrimage to see the Northern Lights because he'd gone before. So we got a small group of friends together. We decided to go for New Year's and we had the most unbelievable time. Yeah, it was just amazing. It was like a fairy tale. It was, it, it just it couldn't believe my eyes. I almost can't believe this photo is real, but this is yeah. a photo. This is even really a, a great photo. Joe would be very disappointed in my, this is my photography. But that looks like a, almost like a, 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 a fake set on like a Christmas. That actually, it, this is, this is awkward. That is a fake photo from a set. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that, I was gonna say, cause that doesn't look real. Okay, good. But the real, have them send the real, yeah, yeah. they'll send the real yeah. photo eventually. Yeah. But that, so you, you see that, right? And what do you do? I mean, what, how do you well, react? I mean, what have... is it? What is it, Northern Lights? <laughs> yeah. Oh, science. I know, yeah, um, no, sorry. I no, don't want to really explain the whole is, thing. It's, it's like, um, it's particles of the atmosphere interacting with um, space. Now, is that real or you just made that up? I think you can decide <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> But um, you, you do that, I and I go. I looked it up too when I was there. I mean, they have all these incredible activities. So I was more, I was, I was more like focused on riding behind a, a reindeer, and they have like wow. you can jump into the water. I wanted to ask you about this because uh, they do, they have a thing where you can jump into a frozen lake. Yeah. Yeah, and and you posted a little video of it, but tell me about the experience. Was it amazing? Well, it was yeah. awful. That's a. Ter I don't know. I, the, the people that do the polar plunges. This is not who I am. This is what I learned about myself. You're not a polar plunger at all, no. <laughs> no I don't think so. But I, I said yes, I was again try trying to sort of like impress my boyfriend. Yeah, Apparently what? I'm very insecure about my boyfriend as well. No, <laughs> this is, he takes great photos. <laughs> yeah. and, but wait, so we, what happens? What time of the day is this? Oh, so we went at night, we had, they had this beautiful spa that's like right on the corner of the, the little edge of the lake there. And the, the guide sort of brings you over there and they leave you in this hot sauna. And then they're like, the hole is over there, and <laughs> the hole is over there. They... And I'm not, not I'm not exaggerating. Well, that's not what they there's say. There's a language barrier. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, but so there, you're in the hot tub. It's you're essentially all... like a cutout of the lake, and there's a ladder and like a flashlight, and there nobody's there. There's no lifeguard. There's no attendants or anything. <laughs> so you're like, this is a terrible idea, but we did it, and it was terrible. <laughs> But you, you go and don't you feel like free or something, or don't you feel like uh, like you're, no. you're a new person? No. Doesn't no, you feel like I you have felt new cold, and I wanted to go inside and drink a beer. <laughs> you, we have a video of you doing the plunge no. in Finland. Let's take a look at you in action. Sorry, Great. bro. Oh my god! Did you went for it? Oh my god! Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know where you're gonna go with that. No. You know, oh my God, that's awful. No, it's just a sinus headache. This is an immediate like, <laughs> like headache and I ran that's inside so and then people were like, let's go again. I was like, not on your life. <laughs> no. It is, uh, it is Pride Month and uh, uh, you wrote and recorded uh, your hit song, Brave, almost 10 years ago. Yeah. It's become uh, a, a sort of an anthem. Oh. Uh, for, uh, yeah. Uh, what does it feel like when you, when you, when people play that or come up to you and go, thank you for writing that song? Or... Oh my gosh, it is. It, it's like the dream as a songwriter to have a song kind of take on a life of its own. And I wrote it um, as a love letter to a dear friend of mine who was struggling with coming out. And then over the years, the, the song has kind of taken on a few different lives of its own and yeah. um, been embraced by all kinds of communities and um, especially the LG, LGBTQ plus community. And I have so many stories and letters from people who said that it was a part of their coming out story. And I just think it's it's just so beautiful. It's it's so meaningful Congrats to me. Congrats on that. I mean, you're Thank so you. talented. And, uh, but I, I, I love that you get to do that and then you get to do Girls 5 Eva. Uh, and it's like... <laughs> the two seasons are streaming right now on Peacock, uh, I should mention. None this. of your friends are on the show. I don't know anyone don't involved know anyone with this involved. Uh, thing. Uh, but when Tina Fey calls you and says, like, uh, Sarah, we should do this thing, did you guys know each other before? She had, I mean, I knew her a little bit. Mm, I mean, I had, like, stood next to her in line at a bathroom at a charity. <laughs> That's a great story. Mm, I think she'll remember. <laughs> 
Um, and I didn't have like the, I, the cojones to say anything at that point. But yeah. I, I was like, I'm gonna go to Nick's at Tina Fey. Um, and then she had come to see me in Waitress. And mm. so she had seen me perform. And yeah, then I got the call that they were interested and had my first Zoom with Tina and Meredith. And oh, Meredith. I was not, oh my God. Meredith Scardino, our creator, showrunner. Yep. Um, and I was not graceful or cool or sophisticated at all in my meeting. No, what were I, you like? I like screamed, I'm so nervous! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I go on the Zoom and they're like, oh, and I'm like, are you sure that you want me? I don't, I've never done this before. I'm not sure I can do it. But it's... Which I've learned is not the best thing to say in your first. How did you psych yourself out of that? How did you say that you can do it? Well, I actually had a sweet conversation again. This is a co conversation about my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> uh, sounds like a great guy. We all approve. We, we love that guy. Well traveled. Well, he got, got an he eye got for it. the stars, you know. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, he kind of reminded me, I, I was struggling with insecurities about being able to sort of meet the challenge of it and I felt really out of my depth. And he's like, if Tina Fey believes that you can do this, why don't you just trust her? Like, if you can't Find it in yourself. Just trust that one of your heroes is not going to put you in a position to fail. And that was really good advice. So, yeah. Hey, I love that. Yeah, see, that's, that's fantastic. Joe, come on out. No, he's not here. No, Joe's not here. <laughs> come on out. <laughs> I would love if I surprised you with Joe somewhere coming out. Like, I'll like... see you at home later. <laughs> yeah, why are you coming out here? Uh, let's talk into the woods, can we please? Yes. Uh, this is a uh, Stephen Sondheim legend. I mean, uh, one in a zillion. Uh, this is when was the last time this has been uh, on Broadway? So I think the story sort of goes. So this is the first production that is going into production since Stephen Sondheim's passing. So it's been a really tender time for the creative team and sure. Steve and James Lapine, who wrote the book, um, are always very involved with their productions and. Um, so it, it was written during the 80s, sort of surrounding the, the AIDS crisis, and then it was remounted again after 9-11. And now this, this seems to be the next. There was another production, but this is, I think, the next production on Broadway, so. And, yeah. and do, you, do, you feel, do you feel pressure uh, when, you, when you do such a, like a work for Stephen Sondheim, or do you go like, well, you know what? I love you, and you're not here, and this is a way to say I love you. I do just try to surrender and honor the material as best as I can. Um, we did a two week run of this at Encores at City Center and the, the process is so quick, you almost don't have time to think about anything. So we're, we're again kind of doing this really quickly. We open at the end of the month, you know, so it's, um, it's fast, but I think you have to trust it. This show is so special and so beloved for so many reasons. It's really dense and complex and deals with um, really deep subject matter with a lot of humor and a lot of heart. And the yeah. songs are amazing. This cast is bonkers, yeah. so. Will, uh, will, will, will Joe make an appearance? I'm sorry, who? <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Uh, Joe. Uh. You know, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> but Joe, Joe may or may not be there opening night. He's going to be so pleased. <laughs> How much he got mentioned in there. He really did get really mentioned a lot. So I can't wait to meet him. Uh, Sarah Bareilles, everybody, Into the Woods returns to Broadway June 28th.